Hi there, in this episode, I wanted to talk about habits. Um, habits shape our mindset, our success, our achievements. And as the famous quote, which I believe is attributed to Aristotle, is we are what we repeatedly do. Our habits, our actions, the things we repeatedly do, either guide us towards or further away from what we want to uh, achieve um, in life. And somebody asked me the other day, um, is it really possible to change habits? You know, we're creatures of habit. Is it really possible to change? And I think there's this fixed idea, belief sometimes that our habits are ingrained. They're like they're, they're set in stone and we don't have a, a choice over it. But having helped countless people um, to change their mindset, to, to break, to update, to adopt um, new empowering habits and beliefs over the last 20 plus years, um, I can categorically say, the answer is absolutely 100% yes. If you have the desire to change, then it's absolutely possible to change your habits. Just the other day, um, as an example, I had an email from a client that um, I helped to, to stop the smoking habit. You know, she stopped smoking over 13 years ago. And most years, um, she'll drop me a Facebook message and say, you know, it's been 13 years, haven't touched them which is always great to hear. Um, but if someone can stop, you know, a 20, 30 plus smoking habit um, almost in one sitting, then I think that shows and demonstrates that it is absolutely possible. And then coincidentally, yesterday, um, I caught up with a client that I first worked with um, eight years ago. And uh, when she first came to see me, it was to, to, to make some lifestyle changes. Um, with regards to um, losing weight and her vice at the time was drinking the full fat um, coke and um, in eight years she's not touched a drop in that time but that was something she would do kind of multiple times multiple cans every single day and to to go and that's happened more than once over the years but just coincidentally as I was thinking about um kind of recording this, um, we, we we caught up yesterday. And some other examples, I um, probably in more recent years, this one's come up more often, um, but helping people to switch off from work, to stop checking their phone, um, their emails, um, consistently, unnecessarily, um, almost incessantly we we get used to picking it up and looking and there's lots of different reasons behind that but it, it's basically a habit that we've conditioned our trained us and trained ourselves to do and i've got one chap that i'm working with currently um that was one of his things as well you know he just got in the habit of wherever he went wherever in the evening weekends even on holiday um he would be checking his phone checking his emails and um you know i i acknowledge there are there are times when maybe that's necessary but every single day, all the time, it's, it's it's not. And that has had a profound impact on his home life and being present and connected um, with his family. So, again, it's a habit that some of us can get into um, that we don't need to, to to be doing. And then another, n another guy um, I'm working with has had some uh, challenges um, in the business and he's had some files that have sat on his desk that he's been pouring over and going over and looking at and um, getting lost in um, every day for, for weeks. And if he's honest, he'll probably say it's been more like months. And those files go off his desk uh, into, his, into his briefcase and he takes them home every day. So he's literally carrying the problems around him, um, not for any real kind of purpose, just it's become a habit. So we discussed and looked at... Um, you know, is that a habit that you need to keep? Is it something you want to keep doing? And the answer was categorically uh, no. So he's been able to break that habit and, and, and leave them um, locked away at work in the office um, because there's nothing more he can do um, at the end of that day to impact that. So he, he consciously, logically knows that the best place for it is for him not to be carrying it around. So have a look, have a think in your life. Are your habits that you're currently kind of performing are they aligned with the goals the outcomes that you want to achieve are they moving you closer towards what you want or are they moving you 
further away from it. And now you know, um, if you didn't already, now I've kind of highlighted the fact that habits can be changed. Um, maybe do an audit of, of your habits and decide which ones that you can stop and uh, maybe look at um, you know, your goals and the things you want to achieve and, and maybe kind of get clear on some habits that would be beneficial for you to adopt or to be more consistent with um, to, to help you um, get closer to it. You know, I have the framework which I use with my clients, um, believe plus action equals achieve. So we have to look at our belief system, our mindset, but then also our, our habits, our actions that we take or don't take every day um, combined with our kind of beliefs um, help us to achieve what we want. So we have to look at those two things. What are kind of mindset in terms of our belief system our confidence and then also the actions and the habits that we're consistently uh, routinely um, performing and if either of those two are not aligned then one um, it's probably going to take us an awful lot longer two um, we probably end up kind of getting distracted or even sabotaging um, our efforts so have a little look have a little think um, today and decide and choose um, if there are any habits that you could stop and if there are any habits that you'd like to start. And one of the, the, the things that I've helped you with a lot over the years when it comes to breaking habits is once you identify the habit you don't want, obviously think about the consequences. If you were to carry on with that habit, where is that going to take you? What's the impact? What are the kind of ramifications of that? And to be, to be honest, habits are neither good or bad, right or wrong until you decide you don't want to do it anymore. So um, it's your choice. It's your decision. It's your life. They're your habits. You can stop them. You can change them. But then when, the, 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 when it comes to the change, one of the most empowering things you can do is focus on the new habits or the habits you want to continue rather than be focusing on the ones you don't. Obviously, identify it. But once you've done that, then take the time to think about what would be a, a more empowering habit, behavior or, or action you could take on a consistent basis that's going to help and focus your thoughts, your energy and your attention towards um, doing that and know that that's going to move you closer to, to, to what you want. So there you go. It's just some thoughts on habits, the impact that can have on a mindset and uh, answering the question as to whether habits um, can be changed, uh, updated um, or broken. And if you need any help with any habits, then feel free to get in touch, drop me a message and uh, let's see um, how I might be able to help you to uh, upgrade your mindset for where you are in your life now and for what it is that you want to achieve. Remember what your mind believes you will achieve. So allow yourself to take the actions that are going to help you to make that happen. Take care and I'll speak to you again soon.